Hey guys, this is Sebastian. We are the Gonzalez family and we're gonna show you how we're gonna cook our turkey. It's Thanksgiving, uh, I just turned Thanksgiving. It's 12.15 a.m. in the morning and I'm gonna get this turkey started. And we wanted to take y'all along for the, for the cook. All right. This is our turkey brine. We're gonna bring it up to a boil for five minutes. Make sure everything gets mixed in and incorporated. And we'll add a gallon of water and put the turkey in a bag and let it brine for 18 hours. Okay, so this is our brine here. We let it boil for five minutes. And I'll go ahead and cover that, let it cool down. Okay, we added our brine to our turkey and we're gonna add water till it covers the turkey. And then we'll put it in our cooler to let it brine for 18 hours. Looks like we need one more gallon. Okay, well we're gonna start by taking the turkey out of the brine. It's been brining for about uh, 10 hours, I would say. So we're gonna go ahead and take that out. This thing's huge. And we'll set this aside. And what I want to do is just pat off all this excess liquid. This is our first time uh, roasting a turkey on an open fire. Which is going to be fun. I kind of I'm starting it a little earlier than necessary because I don't know what I'm going to run into cooking this turkey over the flame, but we're just cooking for a lot of people and we can't mess this up. We want to get it right, right the first time. Oh, look at the juice came up. And I'm gonna stuff this turkey with uh, two onions and a lemon, just for some extra sweetness. It's real quiet out here. We're at a Chalk Bluff River Resort and we went fishing earlier today with the family and my wife caught a sun perch. I didn't catch nothing, of course. But my wife did, and that's all that matters because I like to see her happy and catching stuff. So we're gonna stuff these onions in. We're gonna do uh, two half onions. Then in the middle, we're gonna do a lemon. We'll just half it. Put that in there. And this other onion. Put that in there. Get rid of these onion layers here. So the next thing I want to do is kind of make a flavored butter. Just gonna make it right. Get a big glob of this. Put it here. And this butter here is gonna keep our turkey moist while it's cooking. This out of the way. It's an 18 
pound turkey, by the way. So, okay, so what I'm gonna do to the butter to enhance the flavor. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some garlic. I'd say two, two cloves. You know, garlic to me is real tedious because the cloves are always hard to take out. You know, they're never easy. So I'm gonna go one, two, and we'll just do two. And what we're gonna do is chop these up. A rough chop, I'd say. Just a rough chop, nothing special. Put that in there. And we got some parsley. flavors coming together, garlic, butter, parsley, okay, so what we want to do is break a little bit between the skin and the meat, kind of loosen that up there, just a little pocket, a little pocket there, get some of our butter, stuff it over that turkey breast. Oh yeah, a little messy, but it's all right. Gonna smear that butter underneath there. And we'll do from the neck. surgeon there you go some of our butter stuff it in there and we'll finish it off of my hands so give me a second okay I'm back get ourselves clean here and I'm not a professional at this but I just got some cotton rope here to tie up the wings as best I can So 
let's see what I can come up with just to tie these wings to the turkey's body. That way they're not just flapping around. So I guess there's only one way to get started is to start wrapping it up. I'm just thinking a simple knot. Right? Simple knot. Simple knot. Y'all don't get mad at me too much if I'm not doing it perfect. But I just want those wings against the body. So I'm do a simple knot here. This is a lot of work. And then when you're cooking for people, you know, the pressure's kind of on. There it is. Go ahead and do one more roundabout. Go ahead and cut that there. Get there. Make sure the wing gets underneath there. Oh, crap. Luckily I cut it longer. We'll try that again. So right there. And then quickly down. It's gonna be the best I can do there. And the legs are already come tied. I'm going to leave that there. I'll just leave that tied there. Yeah, I'll just leave that tied. The legs come pre-tied. And what I'll do is I'll put some olive oil Rub it in, baste, lather the turkey up, and we'll lather that turkey. We've got the butter falling out. And I have a simple dry rub. I'm just going to put on the turkey. Simple dry rub. This dry rub, we brought a, a brining kit from Walmart and it came with the brining mixture, the uh, seasoning you put on after it brines, so it was a nice little deal. Get the other side. This thing is huge. It's kind of weird to be dealing with a piece of meat this big. Everywhere, pat it in, down. And this turkey is ready to go on the spit. Let me get everything cleaned up and I'll get some footage of it. Okay, I'm getting my fire stoked up now. We've got our uh, turkey stuffed on the inside with onion, lemon, um, and we got the outside dry rub on with a little bit of olive oil and kind of patted everything down. So now we're going to put our spit through. <laughs> it's kind of weird doing that, but anyways, put it through, 
And we got these little braces to hold our meat in place. Stab it in there, tighten it down. This is a universal rotisserie kit, by the way. Home Depot sells them for 60 bucks, $55. It's a neat little deal. Let's go in here, shove that in there. Tighten down the little butterfly knot. We're getting our fire nice and stoked up here. We want uh, not so much flame, but more of a burning ember to cook this turkey. That way we're not burning the outside and not cooking the inside. So it'll probably take about 15 minutes for this, 20 minutes to get this wood to a burning uh, logs or burning embers. So we'll see you then. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put our turkey on our rotisserie motor just to get a good sear on the skin while this flame is here. So let's uh, go ahead and do that now. Okay, so we got our turkey on our spit here. We're gonna turn on our motor. All right, so it's gonna be a long night for me. I'm gonna to have to rotate this turkey by hand because that motor, that rotisserie motor, wasn't strong enough to s rotate this uh, 18 pound turkey. So on top of keeping up with the fire, getting wood, rotating this thing, it's gonna be a long night. So it's gonna be fun. Here we go. We're about an hour and a half in, and I think the way I'm going to do this is rotate it 90 degrees every 15 minutes, and um, keep on checking the temperature till the internal temperature is 165 degrees. So it's about 2.30 in the morning, so it's going to be a light one. Okay, so we're about three, three and a half hours into this, and it's starting to take a toll on my brain. It's about 3.45 in the morning, and I haven't stayed up like this. The last time I stayed up like this was uh, when my son Levi was born. I said, I think we stayed up till five in the morning. Uh, we were, I think I was up like 20 hours or something but this is gonna be one of those nights.
with my baby axe. Added our wood to the fire. Turkey looking good. Alrighty, it's about 5, 10, 5, 15 in the morning. I've been going since about 12, 30 a.m. Um, I've been checking the temperature on the turkey's thigh, thickest part of the thigh in between the leg and the body. I'm at about 140, 142, and the breast is about 130, 140, so we're almost there. I'd say about another hour and a half. Um, but right now, I need some water. <sighs> All right, guys, we'll finish up this turkey. It's been five hours, four and a half, five hours since it's been cooking so it'll probably go for about six six and a half so i'll keep checking the temperatures all right guys stay tuned all right the turkey's finally done it's eight o'clock 8 30 the next day from 12 15 a.m all the way to 8 30 we got our turkey done so it's got a nice burgundy crust on it i'm about to cut a little piece to see how it looks but we're gonna let it rest for about an hour or two and we'll be ready to eat. All right. Hey, Bubby, are you ready to eat? Last. What do you want to eat? I want to eat this. The pie? 